In this segment, I am going to share with you what makes up the mortgage payment. And a mortgage payment basically consists of the principal and interest payment plus escrow accounts if a person has an escrow account tied to their mortgage payment. So for this example, we're just going to assume that we're working on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage and I'm going to share with you some of the features in the 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Number one, 30-year fixed rate mortgage, the interest rate remains the same throughout the term of the loan for 30 years. It never changes. A percentage of the money that the lender receives each month, one part goes towards paying the principal balance, reducing the principal balance, and the other part goes toward paying the lender interest. So the first part of a mortgage note, you're going to see a PI portion to a payment. And let's just say this person's mortgage payment, uh, PI, principal and interest, is $1,000 per month. And then they're going to have something called an escrow account. The escrow account is an account that is set up by the lender to make sure that the taxes and insurance are paid on time when they're due. So the first portion is the PI, then the second portion of the mortgage is the TI, which stands for taxes and insurance. So in this example, if we wanted to figure out what the total monthly payment is, we basically add the $1,000 PI, principal and interest, plus the $100 TI, taxes and insurance, and we would come up with a total monthly payment of $1,100 per month. Now, the TI is a part of the escrow account. Now, a lot of people complain and they get upset because their monthly payments, they think on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, my payments are supposed to remain the same for the entire 30 years. Well, in a way you're right, but not necessarily. Your PI will remain the same for 30 years, but taxes and insurance can and do change. When your taxes and insurance increase, your monthly payment can increase also because your escrow account has to increase. So how does all this work? Well, let's just say a person's taxes, in this case, in this scenario, right now, a person is paying $100 a month escrow payment. So let's just use $50 a month for taxes, $50 a month for insurance. We add those two together, we're gonna come up with $100 per month. So our escrow is fine. But let's just say two, three, four years down the road, the taxes go up and the insurance goes up. That means that your escrow payment is going to have to go up. So let's just use easy math. Let's say your insurance goes from being $50 a month up to um, $100 a month. So we'll add 50 right there. And your taxes go up from $50 a month up to another $50 a month, okay? So that means that your escrow is now going up an additional $100 per month. So you would normally think, well, my monthly payments are only gonna go up another $100 per month, so my payment should be $1,200 per month now. No, that's not what happens. The lender pays your taxes and your insurance when they're due annually. If you do not have enough money set aside in your escrow, and your escrow and your taxes and insurance for this example is $1,200 increase more per year, your monthly payments could adjust by not only this $100, but another $100 added to that, which would be $1,300 per month. But don't panic. The reason it's going to adjust is, is because they already advanced you the money to pay your taxes and your insurance, that extra $1,200 that it was short, they advanced that to you. So what they're going to do is, they're gonna increase your monthly payments by $100 per month from the original $1,100 to $1,200 and that first hundred dollars is going to go towards paying them back for what they advanced you because your escrow account was short. The second hundred dollars that they're going to charge you is to go into your reserve account for the next 12 months because if they put that hundred dollars a month 
uh, away for the next 12 months, when you add those two together, you're gonna come up with $1,300 per month. After 12 months, your lender would have collected enough money from you so that they could have covered the shortage in your escrow account. So if everything works out perfectly for you, this adjustment to $1,300 a month for 12 months is only for a short period of time and then your monthly payments should only be $1,200 a month because your escrow should be now satisfied with the shortage. And that's how an escrow account works. So if you're having problems with your lender out there and you get these increase in payments and bills, pick up the phone, call them, and they will explain to you about the shortage in your escrow account. And a couple of things you can do when you realize that your escrow account is short. Number one, you can try to protest your taxes to reduce your, your, your tax uh, bill. And the other thing you can do is uh, call your insurance company and try to see what all kind of discounts you can qualify for to get those premiums down. Now, on a 30-year fixed mortgage, remember this. The principal and interest payment will never change. It will always remain the same. But your escrow, pay your escrow payment, your taxes and your insurance, your TI, can change. Okay?